Hey, so what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to be showing you all, if you have the PC version of Dead Rising 3, how you can unlock the frame rate on there and bust the 30 frames per second cap. In case you don't know, Dead Rising 3 on Xbox One was capped at 30 frames a second, and they also forced this cap on the PC version of it. However, there is a way that you are able to bypass this, and it's very simple to do. So first off, I'll go ahead and show you this. What you need to do is you need to find where you have the game at. Now, as you can see, I have it right here available on my Steam. What you want to do if you have it on Steam, you want to go and navigate as to where the actual game files are. So normally you can just like go somewhere to like, you know, your Steam apps folder and all that. But another easy way to do it that's pretty foolproof, you can right click, you can go ahead, go to properties, then go over to local files, browse local files, and it brings us up right here. Now you're in the root directory of Dead Rising 3. The way you're going to tell is you are going to see the Dead Rising 3 EXE right here. What you want to do is right click, create a new text document, and we're going to call it user dot ini now this is really important you do have to change the extension on it to ini if it yells at you go ahead and say yes double click this and you want to go ahead and paste in this right here which i'm going to have this in the description it is gmpcr underscore unlock underscore frame underscore rate space equals space true and you want to go ahead and save that and then close out of it. As you can see, that's all you have to do. You just need that user INI file with that setting, and it tells the game to unlock the frame rate. And now you can go ahead and play it at above 30 frames a second on your computer. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you for watching, everyone.